technical difficulties, y'all. Hold up one second. Let me see if I can find her on here real quick. So as I was saying before, Zuhuri Beauty is the account that I'm pu um, pulling on to this live with me today. And um, she is going to tell us a little bit about her journey and the things that she has found that were difficult to live through. And she's found solutions for them so she could feel healthier and happier and live a better life but in the meantime she does a lot more than that she's also an actor she is a voiceover artist as well there's so many things that she's involved in hey hi how are <laughs> you <works>. yes ma'am <laughs> so i'm so excited yes ma'am so real quick if you wouldn't mind just let people know where are you based out of at the moment i live in los angeles so right Very now cool. I'm it's a evening quiet town called uh, sherman oaks Close to studio nice. city. Very cool. So I was just telling everybody that you are a Zuhuri Beauty, but you're also an actress. You're also a voiceover artist. You do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. On top awesome. of that, you find time to work out. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> workout, fitness fanatic, and I take care of my mom. So yes, I like that. The most important, most important <laughs> role that I have. That's the first place we're supposed to give back, right? They took care of us. We need to take care of them. Absolutely. That's number one. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So I was going through your profile a little bit, and I saw you posted with her, too. So you got her working out, too. You got her just getting out of the house a little bit and working on treadmills, and you do a lot together. I like that a lot. Yeah. Well, you know, my mom actually taught me the benefit of exercise Okay. 40, well, at least 20-something years ago. And okay. so... Um, even though I didn't take on the eating right component, she would take me out exercising. So I got that from her. So she's Good. always been exercising, but you know, she's older now, so I have to monitor what she does, but she would exercise all day if she could. I'm like, no, you need to. That's cool though. I don't, I don't know very many moms as in like my generation and their moms who actually are into exercise and they'd rather do the things around the house. And I mean, that's cool too, but it's usually the men in our family that are, you know, pushing us to go work out, or at least they're going to work out. So we see them do that. They have that, that, uh, that habit in their lives, but that's really cool. I'm actually really, I'm really intrigued by that. So she started you off with exercise and stuff. And you said later on, you figured out the eating part. Now, um, I was, I was stalking you a little bit just to find out a little bit more about you. And, um, I see that you really pay attention to the kinds of things you put into your body. Um, you believe that certain foods can cause, cause inflammation and stuff too, but I'm guessing there's a hard lesson there. How did you figure that out? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I'm a very emotional person, so hopefully I won't Me cry. Too. But um, I live most of my life overweight and sick and in denial. So at my highest weight, I was 255 pounds. Wow. I had 18 large fibroids. I had recurring yeast infections, hemorrhoids, viral infections, migraine headaches, joint pain, and I was trying to numb everything with food and alcohol. The two okay. things that were exacerbating <laughs> those issues. Um, but they feel comfortable in the moment, right? You, you feel comfortable in the moment. But one day I yeah. was like, I'm tired of my legs rubbing. I mean, it, it literally got down. I am tired of my legs rubbing. I'm tired of feeling neurotic uh, right before my cycles because I knew when my cycle came, I was going to be so depressed and anxious. I was bleeding like crazy. These big clots were coming out of me. And I met a woman, uh, I think I was like at a coffee shop. This was like 11 years ago. But I met a woman who talked to me. I was lamenting about my period and okay. uh, having five points. And she mentioned clean eating to me. And I was like, you know, what is that? And so because I'm like really anal, I research everything. I was supposed to be skipped like three times. Um, I'm just really, really, I can be really anal analytical. So I start looking it up. The first thing I did was cut out dairy. Okay. And when I cut out dairy and stopped having hemorrhoids, I was like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> something might be on with this. Then I Things start cutting that make out you sugar, go, hmm. start cutting out gluten, start cutting out, um, everything white and then I stopped eating meat and okay. I lost like 70 pounds like that fibroids wow. 18 of those fibroids either shrank or passed I do still have one left which is totally fine with me um, okay. I know what why that's there okay. migraines went away headaches went away viral infections went away like it totally changed my life and I am a 
extremists. So once I'm with it, that's it. Like there's no going yeah. back. And because I have so many memories of being in so much pain, yes. I, can't, I, I can't go back to that. So that's what started me uh, being a wellness coach. That's what actually started me to make it natural skincare products because I started researching um, estrogen dominance, which is very, very, very important um, for women to know about because that's what creates all these hormonal imbalances that makes you unhealthy and exacerbates fibroids, sorry, and so many other conditions that people don't know about. Um, and see, that's something I haven't heard of before. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I'm slowly learning. I quit dairy mostly because my body rejected it, so I could feel it. Like, when you eat, sometimes you feel this phlegmy feeling at the, at the back of your neck, <laughs> and you're trying to, like, clear it out the whole time. Or I would, to be very plain, I would get diarrhea. It would it would mess up my stomach to the point that I'd be in the bathroom. So yeah. yeah, it was like my body forced it. But you you research because someone said something and then you learn. So estrogen dominance, what does that actually mean, if you don't mind? So what that means, it's similar. So men have testosterone. They're yep. testosterone dominant. Women have estrogen. We have t testosterone. And we have another one that I cannot Progesterone. P. Yeah, progesterone. Yep. <laughs> And so what happens is um, your hormones get off because of various reasons. Um, when you eat certain meats, when you eat certain products that have pesticides in them, they have toxins in them that throw off your hormones. And one of them yes. is the estrogen. People okay. take birth control pills to quote unquote stop uh, or make their cycles regular or whatever. I'm like, stop taking that. That's yeah. throwing you all off. Mm -hmm. uh, I honestly refuse to work with women who get those shots that stop their periods. I'm like, I, oh, I yeah, there's nothing uh, I, I can do for you. No, you have toxins. Too many. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't fight against that. I, I, yeah. I, I'm not going to tell you I can do anything with that. But it's also in the air that we breathe. It's in the water mm -hmm. that you use. Like there's so many toxins and things that people don't know. And the same thing in the products that people are using. Yeah, tomorrow you can have clear skin, but if you read the label, you can also have cancer. You can also have, you know, all these other problems. And it's like, that's not, I don't want that. I don't want that. And I tried all of that. I was on proactive for like three years. And I'm, as soon as I stopped, I was like, you know, I stopped because I learned, you know, the dangers of it. But it was just, it, it was not good for you. It's just not good for you. And, I tell and you, a lot you of those things, me. they're meant to keep you on that program. Yes, it's like, absolutely. it will fix it real quick, but if you stop, suddenly right. you break out right away. And yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, I tell a lot of my clients when I do my skincare recommendations, this is for now until your skin gets in order. Then I'm going to yes. switch you to something else. Yes. I do not want you on these different products, this vitamin C serum that I have, for example, that light and dark spot, don't use that over and over. It's a concentrated treatment formula. It is not something that you take over and over and over. Um, so yeah, I, I like to educate people. I probably talk way too much to my customers, but at the end, they that's the best it. way though. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's how you have loyalty Knowledge because they know you've got their backs. They want that's what you want, what's best for them. Yeah, and I would not give somebody something I wouldn't use on my own. I, I, Absolutely. I burned my face thousands of times making formulas, um, but my face is clear. I just put my oil on my face, and I know it's going to come back. My sister's like, you are so crazy. I'm like, yeah, you got to be a little crazy, especially to be an actress. And an but those are the best people. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, you said that you put oil on your face, and I know a lot of people are like, huh, what do you mean? Don't put oil on your face. You already Your face is already oily. But what I found is... Lotion doesn't help my face. No. Oil helps my it helps my face stop producing so much oil to to compensate for all everything else is going on. So I feel better when I have oil on my skin in general. Absolutely. And I know for me, every time like Asian parent about how how your family is, but Asian families when you see them after a long time, they're like, oh my god, what happened to your face? Oh my god, did you lose weight? Oh my god, did you gain weight? They're really obvious about stupid stuff. So when they say stuff, look at my face. My face just broke up, but because. I'm hormonal. I'm not on the pill, mm -hmm. but it's like, it's not, it's not my skin. It's whatever's going on on the inside of me. It's something I ate. I ate, <laughs> I ate chips the other day because I just felt like it. And the amount of stuff that's in all the flavorings that upsets my stomach. I am very Absolutely. sensitive to that stuff. So I know that. Yeah. And, and it's a blessing because you not only recognize it, your body tells you that because I got to a point where 
I had so much inflammation in my body. People were like, you're swollen. And I, I didn't believe it, right? Until yeah. you lose weight and stuff, you're like, I can't believe it. Like, my face is a little swollen right now because my water intake has been low because um, one little hint, when you're into fitness training and doing things, you stop drinking a lot of water so you can see a lot of your lean muscle. But That's cutting, yeah. I like, <laughs> my face then looks puffy. So mm -hmm. I'm drinking some water today because I don't like this part. <laughs> But your body will tell you. It will be like, yeah. hey, I don't like that. You know, my body clearly with all the hemorrhoids when I stopped doing dairy, it was like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now we can get ready. Message received. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Message no, I understand. Received. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So unfortunately, you had to go through a tough time and test for yourself because you were in so much pain. A lot of people don't, they're not in that extreme situation where they're in pain. They're you know, in, in danger of dying because you, you mentioned something about um, blood clots and stuff like I, oh, that's yeah. major, that's major problems that people don't, they usually go straight to the doctor for that, not realizing that they can start adjusting some things at home and help ease some of those things as well. Oh, yeah. I, my first bout with blood clots was when I was 18, when I started taking birth control and my leg, I had so much pain in my leg. I had no clue what was going on. It took four doctors to figure out what was wrong. And one was a woman OBGYN and she walked in and she said, are you on birth control? And I said, yeah, she just said, stop. She yeah. didn't tell me I had a blood clot. She didn't tell me anything. She would just like, stop and do. She not looked at you and could tell. Wow. She was like, you are that this percent that cannot take birth control. So fast forward, even after I had got healthy, lost all the weight, I started running long distance. Now, again, I told you I'm an extremist, right? So I joined this running group, and we had a race, or we were doing a 10-mile run. I was running 10 miles every week. I'm a little crazy. So I, I can't do it. I would die. Wear <laughs> these old shoes and uh -huh. run 10 miles. Now, once you uh -huh. get to mile two, my adrenaline is kicking in. Um, I could have busted my knee, but I'm still going to finish them eight extra miles right that's just yeah me. so yeah. somewhere along mile two to mile six i think i twisted my ankle uh, i didn't pay attention uh -huh. i just kept running i'm running with these messed up shoes messed up ankle and i'm like adrenaline right i'm finishing because i can yeah do you're pushing through so, <laughs> yeah i'm just like whatever so i think the next day i woke up and like my leg was just it was swollen, oh. it was red, it was all these different things. And because I don't take medication, I was like, okay, I'll do the ice method. Didn't work. So I went to my doctor and he knows, like if he see me, it's serious because I'm holistic about everything. So he told me that I must have twisted my ankle. Um, he didn't see anything on the labs. And you know, once it stops hurting, I'll be fine. So I went back again because I was like, this keeps swelling off and on. I didn't start running immediately, but he was like, I'm telling you, it's fine. Take a Motrin. You'll be good. I think for at least six months, I was still running 10 miles. I was flying back and forth because I travel a lot, right? And that doesn't help either if you're swelling. Oh, my God. Horrible. So I went oh. to my father's house one day. The back of my leg was on fire. And he's like, well, maybe it's because you've been traveling, um, you haven't been exercising. So I'm like, yeah, you know, that's it. <laughs> Honey, I get back home. I go to run my 10 miles because I'm run still running 10 miles. Yeah. And I couldn't breathe. And All I was right. like, okay, let me try again. Red like, alert. Crazy. <laughs> I'm going to try to run again because I can't breathe. So, hey, let's <laughs> run again. <laughs> wow, okay. So I started okay. running again, still can't breathe. I look down, my leg is as, I mean, my calf is as large as my leg. I went into a little panic. I didn't run. I just started walking. And then I did okay. the dumbest thing in the world. I got online and tried to figure out what was wrong with me. That made ah, me WebMD and all of their lovely excuses. <laughs> all their excuses. So I found myself in the emergency room, saw okay. my doctor. Long story short, he told me he never thought... I had a blood clot because I did not meet 
the what they tell them in medical school a person with blood clots should have had. So he could have taken a simple blood test and found out that my numbers were off. But anyway, long story short, I know I'm supposed to be here because that that sharp pain that I felt, uh -huh. that was that clot traveling up to my lungs. Oh, shit. To this day, I still have little clots in my lungs. It damaged my heart. Um, uh, this is the part where I cry. All the doctors were like, you should really be dead. <laughs> Um, Thanks. For the, for the longest time, I had to wear a heart monitor. Um, I couldn't do a lot of different things. So when people talk to me about what you can't do, I, just, I don't have a tolerance for that. Because I still <laughs> run. you know I better. I know, I, I know what you can do. I know what you can teach mm -hmm. your body to do. My body yes. be like, really, we finna do this? Yeah, we finna do this. Let's go. And that's it. So I always tell myself, if I'm going to die from anything I have, I'm going to do it on my own terms. Yeah. If one day I need an oxygen tank, bring it with me to the gym. Let's go. Um, I just don't let anything, like, stop me. So, and I know God did that for me for a reason. Um, and I'm, I'm cool with that because I just like to share that story with people. Things will happen in life when you think things are going well, you know. But you got to deal with that and you got to keep going. You still got to keep going. Don't worry about that. God will figure it out. If he kept me alive from that, I definitely have greatness coming somewhere in front of me. And coming? Oh, my God. Can we talk about your greatness for a second? I yeah. mean, just, just yeah. pause the health. We'll come back to that. But um, you are an actress. You're a model. You're a voice coach. You are a coach in general. Like, there is no opportunity you haven't like taken a swing at. You're doing it all at the same time right now. I know people that are entrepreneurs that are struggling just to get out of bed in the morning to start their work because they're they're balancing home and work. But look at everything, and you're taking care of your mom. Like that's major. Yeah. All yeah. your blessings seem to be coming at the same time, and I am so excited for you. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm serious. If I um, I think my whole life I've been just tenacious. I've put blinders on. I've been rude to people uh, who I just don't understand why you just can't do it. You know, of course, I've softened up a bit, but I I have to stay focused because it's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. Yeah. I come from a community where you don't see a lot of role models. You know, I come from a place where you need to be the role model. And I'm lucky and grateful that I still can be that for people. So the things that I do, it's not just about me. Oh, I don't want to cry. But I want to teach people you can do whatever you want to do. I don't have the best days all the time, but I don't have time to cry, right? Absolutely. Say, do what you need to do. Talk to Amazon. Argue with them why they didn't send something outright. Argue with Macy's. I'm going to be real with you. You know, you learn working with big retailers that they don't have it all together. But you, you don't get what you don't money. ask for. You, you, but you still got to keep your cool because Richmond will come out in a minute. I'll be like, look, you me, and then I'll be like, bring it down. Bring it down. This is Macy's. Okay. Um, you know, but you just have to keep going. So that's what I tell the people who don't know me. People who know me, I appreciate them because they know I'm like, let's just get it done. And it's not that I'm being rude. It's just how I am. I'm extremely sensitive and giving person, giving person, but there's a time and a place for everything. And I, I still have a lot of things to work on, but my goal in life is to be an example for people. I have great nieces who I'm trying to leave a legacy for. I got some little girls and boys who I'm going to adopt who I have to leave something for them. You know what I'm saying? I, I, the goal is to leave an imprint, a mark, and to also share with all the people who thought I couldn't do it. So they, oh, no, I, I'm not one of those people. Um, I just You're doing it anyway, people. though, without, like, forcing it. It's happening. Yeah. They're, they're watching. Whether they acknowledge it's they're watching or not is another thing, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still going to help you if you ask me. It's a lot of people. I, I offer so much free help, and you know this. Some mm -hmm. people ask me. Some people don't. It's not mine to hold on to. God gave it to me. I would never ever stop somebody from being blessed i'm not gonna that's not me because if i, I can bless that. you i'm gonna get that back baby i'm gonna get that back so i'm gonna give as much as i can i shocked a new follower on my instagram page she posted 
she wants to try it. I said, send me your email and your address. Mm -hmm. She was like, what? Email? <laughs> She's like, you're going to send me? Of course I'm going to send you this. It's a sample. Yeah. It's a sample. <laughs> you know? And honestly, that's the best marketing because, you know, <laughs> how do you know how good it is from reading? You kind of got to try it. You got to try it. And that's where I, my model of working with people comes in so great because I offer samples. Sorry, my mom is looking for me. Absolutely. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. One second. Yeah. Um, so it, that's my model is that you have to get, you have to let people try things. And a lot of my people that I coach, they're like, well, I can't afford to do that. And I'm like, no, you, you, you have to afford to do that. You will make more it's long term helping people try your stuff and liking it. And then I promise you they're going to come back and buy it if you have a product that they need. If they don't need it, no, they're not going to buy it. So you need to rethink your product, your audience. I don't know why. All right, hold on, y'all. It's okay. I see you. It stops and then it starts back up again. So you're okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah. So that's one of the things that I like to teach people when I'm doing business coaching with them really about sales and what does that mean? Um, yeah. Because it, it's, a, it's a huge thing, but it comes down to what you began with, which is it comes down to you and who you are and what you know about yourself. Um, exactly. Nobody can tell me what I can't do. I, you can't tell me that. If somebody's like, I dare you to climb this, I'm going to show you this, this palm tree. If somebody told me I dare you to do it, <laughs> If my mama wasn't in there, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. I hear you. But I think yeah, the beautiful that's... thing about you and everything that I've learned so far, and y'all, for y'all that don't know that are just joining, this is my first actual conversation with Angie Nye, and I really appreciate the fact that she took some time to talk to me. We are working on a business summit together, and yes, we're, all, we're both speakers, but it's important for me to know who all is on this panel. It's important for me to stand behind the women that are doing all this work. And the beautiful message that I'm getting from you is that you've learned how to work with your body instead of against it. It's almost like there's two beings, right? Your mind is one being and your body is another being. It works on autopilot. It, it does what it has to do with whatever you give it. But if you don't listen to the warning signs, she was mentioning her blood clot and the pains, right? The pain is a signal. Hey, something is wrong. Uh, pay attention. Your stomach getting upset. That's something wrong. Pay attention. Your face breaking up. That's something wrong. I know exactly what I did wrong. <laughs> it was a quick fix and it was not good. Um, but you were mentioning birth control as well. Yes, you're trying to stop something natural from happening because you want to go out and get your freak on whatever. But I know people in my family that had blood clots because of, um, of birth control. They bloated so bad and could not get rid of the weight until they stopped the, the birth control. Their ankles swole up so you couldn't even see that they had ankles. They had really bad reactions to birth control because there are a lot of chemicals in there that are not natural okay. for you your body needs to clean itself your body needs to maintain we have we are the portal between the spiritual and the real the the physical realm because we are the only ones who can birth human beings right. and that is a lot of there are a lot of mechanisms in there we need to make sure that our body takes care of we don't have to think about that it takes care of itself so if you don't block all of those things with medicine and other chemicals you're fighting against your body so the fact that you are proving every day you stop yeah. this and suddenly your body adjusted and you stop that and you, your body adjusted, you started paying attention. You worked hand in hand with your body and that's exactly what your skin food does. Zuhuri Beauty right. is based on that premise and I love it. Yes. Skin food. I love it too. When, when, when God dropped that on me, I was like, you're right. It is that's exactly food. what it is. Like, yes, <laughs> that's my it's skin food, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Because it is. As soon as you give your body what it needs, it will adjust yeah. and it's going to give you what you want from it. Consistency is key. My mom, before moving out here with me, she was in a place where it was really hot. She wasn't using sunscreen. And so she has okay. a lot of sun damage. And okay. every day she's like, well, can't you just give me some retinol? I'm like, no, <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting no retinol. You go, I'm going to keep putting this vitamin C serum on your face and my oil. And it's gotten so much better. And she loves okay. it. But she's still, you know, you get that quick fix. I want that quick fix. And then when I sit down and I read her, like, this is what happens with these quick fixes over time. And what it does to brown skin, 
I have people like, I have never been able to get rid of this dark mark forever. And I'm like, this is what you have to do. You know, you got to use sunscreen. I'm going to say this over and over and over and over and over again. Brown people need to use sunscreen. If not, over time, you're going to get these dark marks, these dark spots, and it can turn into cancer. Brown people get skin cancer. Yes, ma'am. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it with the foolishness. Stop it. That's why I wear hats a lot. Honestly, people like, because I need to cover my face, I wear glasses and stuff too. I definitely use sunscreen. I slather my face with my oils all the time. But you, you have to do that. You have to do that. Sorry for the change. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, no, that's exactly what I want to talk about, though. These are, these are the health benefits to paying attention to your skin. And if people forget this skin we're in, it's supposed to last us at least a good hundred years. If you don't take care of it, you have a lot of like fixing to do at the end. And that's not going to be when your skin can bounce back the way it can right now. So you've got to pay attention. People forget your body is supposed to last you the rest of your life. I have people, um, I had a person around me the other day, full blown, it was worse than a hangover. It was like borderline poisoning. And the one thing they did not want to do because it made them sick was eat. But your body is in panic mode. It's getting rid of everything that you're putting in there because the last few liquids you put in your body turned it upside down. So, yeah, right. you got to feed it the nutrients that it needs to heal because it won't heal until you do that. And it, people it don't heal. realize it. And, and w one of the things you bring up, I um, finally gave in and added on something else. Um, I am a wellness coach, but I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, i got to do something bigger with this. God has been bugging me about this. Yes. I'm starting a seven-day <laughs> fast program with people on my Facebook page and Instagram page for okay. wellness. And so when you talk about you do have to give your body some things, you also have to stop some things. Yeah. And people get so <laughs> paranoid about fasting. I'm trying to, like, change this whole idea of it. Your cells need to regenerate themselves. And sometimes we have to stop. Just stop. Well, am I going to, like, am I going to, will I die from this? No. Don't you fast I mean, every night when you go to sleep? I'm just saying. <laughs> breakfast is breakfast because it's called break breaking fast. your fast. But exactly. You will be fine. You know, I'm like, I, I fast all the time. It's the best thing. Once you get over the physical part and realize yeah. it's mental, I know people's strength by the way they respond to me. And I'd be like, oh, if that's what you think? Who told you that? Somebody told me <laughs> exactly. Like, vinegar. Uh, apple cider vinegar is da, 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 da. I read a, a study. I said, well, I can send you 10,000 and say it's good for you. But do what's best for you. I'm not going to, you know, I know what to do for me. No problem. You know. Well, or but I love gonna, that. Are they going to clog my pores and did it? That's what you've been told by the makeup companies because they need you buying their product. That's why. Well, because they got cheap shit. Excuse my language. It's cheap no, that's oils. Funny. That's what they're using. When you use quality stuff, you know what you're using. It's been researched. It's been tried and true. It works. I pitch my products all the time. There's always one in the group who tell me about how I need to do another uh, formal study about my products. And I say to them, your grandmama's 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 grandmama was raised by one of my grandmama's 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 grandmama's. <laughs> And believe it or not, she slapped some oil on you, okay? Mm -hmm. Cleopatra, all them goddesses from, from Greek around the world have been using oil, one of which is olive oil. Mm -hmm. Don't they traveled the world to I find do. that stuff. They traveled the world. They traveled the world. And you're going to mm -hmm. sit up here and tell me I need to spend $10,000 to get a formal study to tell you about I don't need to do business with you. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. Honestly speaking, you will it. find what you're looking for. If you're finding some way to disprove something, you find it. And you're finding yeah. some way to prove that yeah. you need, you find it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just like, I, I know what my products do. I know what they do. Of course, I've done some form. Because you use all your products, and that's the yeah. beauty of that. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I voluntarily registered with the FDA. Mm -hmm. I voluntarily gave them my ingredients. Come on. I'm not here to play games. I'm here to win. I'm not here exactly. to be out at the flea market selling products. That's not, I mean, you know, hats off to people who do that. But I'm, I, I, I got bigger things in mind than, than the flea market. So I'm going to play. If you, you want to play with the big people, you have to do big people certifications, regulatory yeah. things, insurance things. You need to know how to talk the talk to be able to get in the room. 
and a lot of people message me and contact me. They want to get on different platforms, and I want to help you, but you got to get insurance. I want to slap everybody. You got to have certain things in place. Me, who <laughs> says they don't? Have, how are you selling anything and you don't have insurance? We got to stop that. We got to stop that. You're not stepping in the room without insurance. If I got to buy you, you some insurance and you got to pay me back, guess what? I'll do it. But I need to know you're serious because I want yeah. you to win. But you got to have some insurance. You got to have insurance, period. The easiest way for people to snuff out dreams is for the bigger ones to come in and say, oh, you don't have this, this, and this. And then suddenly you're like, well, crap, what do I do now? I got to start at the bottom again. So build yourself up, set yourself up for success, and ask the people who have gone before you that are doing it. I don't know anyone like you, Angie and I, who actually, you got into Macy's, no, I'm serious, you got into Macy's, and the next thing I saw was a post saying, hey, I did this, y'all want to know how? Message me. Message me. You want to say, pay me $1,000 to tell me? No, you said message me, I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm going to tell you, but I'm going <laughs> to tell you it ain't easy. Of course it's I'm not, otherwise you. everybody would have a product in Macy's. That's right, that's right. For every win, it's, it's going to cost you, not just money. It's going to cost you a lot of time. It's going to yep. cost you even more discipline. It's going to yes. cost you <laughs> half, of, half of that little mind you got left, but yeah. you can do it. But you can Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. You could do it. You could do it. Look, I'll with people like Angie and I out there trying to make sure that you don't slip and fall on the way on your way up, that's, that's a good thing. You need people like that. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's so beautiful that we are connected in this business mastery summit with all the other women who feel the same way we want exactly. to help women men whomever succeed because we've gone through these things you know yes. and there are other things we're going to go through but we have it now down in our spirit we know how to get through that we know how to help you get through that yeah we are meant to help people climb as we climb and yes. at least that's the way we all feel i don't know about everybody else out there but august has been very diligent about finding the right people, so that we all mesh together. I mean, she's not going to have one person on here that feels different from the rest of us because it'll right. cause problems. And then right. all of a sudden, it's our brands associated with this. She is very diligent. The fact that yes. I'm getting to talk to you for the first time today, but I've been, you know, we've been associated a little bit on social yeah. media already. We've been watching each other a little while. Mm -hmm. But I love what you stand for. It's a lot of the lessons. I, I haven't had the extremes in lessons that you have, but I believe the same things. I mean, I didn't know who Dr. Sevi was until maybe a couple of years ago when I was finally sick and tired of trying to figure out what the hell was wrong with my face. Like mm -hmm. there are things will happen when you, what is that saying? When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. That's it. We are here now. Somebody That's is it. ready. Come join That's us. It. <laughs> That's it. That is, that is so true. And some days I'd be like, please not know more information, please. Cause I'm gonna have to do something with this. Please. <laughs> I don't want to know. Don't tell me. I don't want to <laughs> spread the freaking floodgates and all this. I'm like, oh, I got to make time for that too. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. But it's, it's a blessing to be blessed with the information. It's a blessing to know how to find the resources to do what you need to do to make it happen. Um, yes, ma'am. It's just a blessing. Giving is the blessing. You're not going to know until you go through certain things how to do it yeah. and it's like okay what else am i gonna have to go through <laughs> but you but survived all of that yeah. exactly girl you got gumption that's why that. <laughs> yeah. yeah well i really appreciate your time i'm hoping people are following you you have two accounts though so zuhiri beauty is the main one and this is where you're telling everybody about your skin care like the skin food i love that um, and where to find it. So you are available in Macy's. You're on Amazon. You have your product out there. And like you said, you made sure that you are registered with the FDA. You've got your insurance set up. You've got everything created in such a way that you can spread the word about your journey and why you created this. But you have another account. I'm, I'm not sure if I got it right. It's, it's Glow Getters or something. It's about... It's Glow Girl Wellness. Glow Girl Wellness. I'm so sorry about that. Yes, yeah. Glow Girl Wellness. So <laughs> both of them. I have a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool, though. So real quick, yeah. I want to bring this back to this other, this other piece of news we just recently got. You were on the, um, the show, The City. Mm -hmm. And didn't that's you just get an award for that? No, so actually, the, the, the show itself? Awards, this, this, is, this is such a blessing, okay? So 
the this the movie that got the five awards is actually called The Victim. And Sorry, The Victim. It yes. It was created by um I don't want to mess up his name, Asian Jim. Okay. Um Jam Yai. Um and so he approached me and asked me to play play a police officer and I've been wanting to do different roles, right? Yes. So I was so blessed for him to offer me this and I had no I've been in a lot of stuff. <laughs> Okay. Five awards. God is good. Five. Five. Mm -hmm. Five. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't downplay any other work that I've done. I'm grateful for it. But that just like I said, God, you funny. You are so funny. <laughs> The city I love playing Miss uh -huh. Davis on that because it reminds me of where I'm from. Uh, okay. Miss Davis, her character, her daughter is um, dating a drug dealer. Hmm, I might know something about that. Uh, and I'm telling her, don't do all the things that mama has done, basically. Don't go mm -hmm. down my path. And yeah. so I get to be um, gritty, which comes natural for me Good. um but get to get to you know be a mentor to other of the younger actors and i love the writer and director paul p lockett he is fantastic he's pitching this project like everywhere and it's going to be great i'm in some other stuff um that's being pitched and if i could do one little plug uh very yes, soon, please. i'll be able to post about uh ice cold blood which i'll be Ooh. in um, one of those episodes is coming up soon, so nice. that I was like, I, I'm so proud of myself for that. Like when you guys see, we're it, proud like, of you. What? Look, for those of you who have your my eight, my dog ate my homework excuses. The adult version is I don't have time. Uh, <laughs> do you see this young lady right here? She is busy, like 25 hours a day, eight days a week, busy. Busy, but she's getting it all done. Get, get it in. You make time mm -hmm. for that. When people give you opportunities, you got to take advantage of those because not you have a lot more time, time than you them. think. Yeah, we have a we, lot more time than we think. Them. So when they come to you, you're like, what? You know, being on Grey's Anatomy. I'm like, oh, you, me? You want me back? As a what? Oh, OK. Yeah, I can make time. Mama, I ain't going to be here today. Here's your goodies. Here's your this. <laughs> here's your that. You know, <laughs> I love that my mom gets to see me uh, be in my element and do what I need to yeah. do. And I, I'm just going to say this one other thing. All things work together for the good. If mm -hmm. I wasn't an entrepreneur, I would not be able to have this time with my mom. I am so grateful. I am so grateful that all of this has been set up for this and I can't tell you how many blessings have come because I was like you moving with me and God was like Shh. open this door open this door open this door open this door it's because of your heart babe if you do things from your heart it's amazing the things that line up right August open <laughs> just open open. I'd be shocked. I'd be like, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I accidentally deleted one of my emails from my PayPal account. And uh -huh. one of my customers, regular customers, like she does these hundred dollar orders. And I was like, I can't fulfill your order because it hasn't come through. So I called PayPal and they was like, well, you deleted that email. And I was like, what? Oh. I had $500 from that email waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Hey, Crystal. You crazy. I mean, you just, you, you just crazy. My mama wants to go to Canada. She don't know I'm surprising her. I'm taking her to Canada. I will but say nothing. We going to have a, um, we going to have a real nice time in Canada. Good. We going to have a real nice time. It's, it's, it's a blessing. He, he never, never fails. Never. No, fails. Ever. ever. And you know what? If you're ready for it, he will fill your life with such experiences and such people yeah. that you will have stories for days when you get older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's just amazing. 
It's absolutely amazing. I am so blessed to be on this panel with you. I can't wait. I'm excited. Y'all, if you have not registered, please go register. Oh, the link is in my bio. <laughs> You're, this is a no-brainer. It is for free. Now, I'm going to tell yeah. you, I'm already worried because it's like quicksand. If I miss one, I'm going to miss the next. And now it's only open for 24 hours. The, the, the videos are live. After that, you have to have paid access, right, to repeat. And I know I'm not one of those people that learns it the first time. I kind of got to go back and listen to it again. So yeah. I am going to pay and get yeah. my ticket because there's a lot that I don't know. And between these 21 women, even though I already have access to them, it's, it's paying respect to the yeah. work that you've done. I'm doing yeah. it for myself. Okay. Yes. So whether you do it or not, I don't care. Register. Get in yes. with the Facebook group. Get to know us a little bit. At least find your favorites and get to know them a little bit better. We are here to help you. We are here to exactly. serve. That is our primary purpose in this Business exactly. Mastery Summit. That's right. That's it. That's yes, it. And I will have some sleep before that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a long, long I'm, couple of days. <laughs> go to sleep. But well uh, worth it. Sleep, sleep is like this, but God will sustain you. Yes, he ma'am. Will sustain you. He absolutely will. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I love you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your journey. I really appreciate it. I really, Thank really you. appreciate it. For you to come out and say all of those things and share all those things. She willingly is telling us all of these, all this information. She's been through a lot. And based on that, she's an expert on her life and she knows what works for her. And this skin food is no joke. Okay? I have not tried it yet. I will. But the point I is... It is, no, 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 <laughs> I will pay for it, hang on. <laughs> but the point is, she's making sure that this stuff really does nurture your face, and it is going to be a little different from what you've been told a thousand times on every commercial, okay, that you have to have this, and if, and if you don't have this first, you have to have that first. She's making sure that this is sustainable, and it is worth it for your body, and you may not see events right away, I mean, uh, you may not see a, ch a change in events right away, but it's meant to help long term. It's not meant to cover up something that will pop up again in a couple of days if you don't take the medicine again. Okay, it's not like that. So I appreciate your heart. I appreciate your light. Keep doing what you're doing. We're here to support you. Thank you. God bless. Okay. Thank you. Please follow Zuhiri Beauty, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Always. All right. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>